Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out a map that I initially had to deny the first time. I think the original Bridge Door I had to deny because it was too simple. But this is Bridge Door 2 by T. Chapman 500. A reworked version of the original map, but it is a lot more challenging. A light bridge across the exit door blocks your way out, and you must turn it off in addition to getting the door open. This map has the ability to detect when you are trapped yourself, and it will let you out if you do so. A button has been added to the cube dropper in the main chamber, just in case you need to manually respawn it. Alright. Well, let's get started. I'm not entirely sure why the light bridge is a necessary thing here. Like, you could just connect this button directly to the exit, and it would have exactly the same function. There's- there's literally no difference. Anyway, this is strange. Also, I'm not sure... I was specifically asked to see if I can trick the trap detector thingy. I'm not sure why you would even need a trap detector, or what that entails. But anyway... Let's get started, shall we? What do we have up here? A cube... ...that we can use to block the laser, I'm assuming, right? Alright. So we got the cube out here now, right? Where do we need to actually put it, though? Yeah, that opens the door, that gets through the light bridge, yada yada. Oh, there's an area up there I didn't even see. This for? Uh, why though? I guess I was supposed to do that button over there first. Oh crap. <laughs> why do these need to be on timers? That's what I don't understand. Like, that doesn't add to the challenge of the map, that just makes it frustrating because the player has to do things within a certain time limit. But anyway, let's- let's just start this timer over, and let's try this again. Alright, now we're up here. And I guess this is where we need the cube, right? That does... what exactly? Oh, it makes this go down. Interesting. Hmm. How long does this last? Not very long. Not very long at all. Well, anyway, we have a light bridge now, so there's that. Where does this take us? Nowhere special. Yeah, we can't get around here just yet. Alright then. Not sure what that's for just yet, but maybe we'll find out someday. What does this do for us? Was that a flip panel that I didn't even notice? I'm not sure I understand what's going on here. I didn't even notice that. I don't know what that is, honestly. Maybe that's for the platform. Maybe that's just signage for the platform. What does this do? Oh, what? Oh, okay then. Uh, why though? What is happening right now? Do I have to, like, time this so that the cube drops in the right spot? No. That is clearly not what I have to do. Oh, do I need to... Do I just need to do that? Sort of, maybe? <laughs> That's an interesting physics interaction I wasn't aware of. Uh... Honestly, I'm not sure what I'm doing, to be honest. Hmm. Oh, well, that's not exactly what I was hoping to do, but, uh, sure. So can't I just grab the cube here, right? Yeah, that seems like a thing I can do, alright. Put the cube here. I can press this button. And I have the cube now. Not sure if that's what's intended, but that's what I'm gonna do. Hmm. Well, anyway, it seems like we're done. This is definitely 
a little bit more challenging than the original version, so I will give you that. You did make it more challenging. But, uh, it's still... still mostly walking around pushing buttons. Right, so let's go get this... let's get this cube back again. So we don't have to do that whole time thing again. I'm not sure what the point of this whole laser thing is, because we never did anything with lasers whenever we used the laser cube, so this might as well just be a button. Yeah, this- this whole laser contraption could just be a button, and it would be the same thing. The light bridge could just be connected to the exit instead. And these timer things are not really- not really something you want, like... There's- there's no puzzle to do something within a certain amount of time here. There are good ways to make timing puzzles, but this is not how you do it. This is just make the player do something within a certain amount of time, and if they fail, they die. Like, literally die. That's not a good thing to do. And, uh, as for this area... I'm- I'm not even sure what was supposed to happen here, you so... You have trapped yourself. Congratulations. The exit door is now open. Well, that's because I know clips, but anyway. <laughs> I guess you put triggers there. So yeah, an easy way to do that, I guess, would be, like, put a portal there, and... There's a few ways to do that. Now that I have two cubes, I could put another cube up there to block the laser, I could put a portal there, put a portal there, respawn that cube so it's no longer on that button, then I can go in there. Yeah, that's an easy way to do that. But anyway, let's get started with today's... I mean, uh... Wow, I'm so tired right now. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye! Get your sleep, kids. Sleep is important.